Hey mate, Simon, VA7BIX. I picked this up the other day from the Value Village. 35 feet of Ethernet cable, unbelievable. So we're gonna build a five bander for five bucks. No fuss, no tuner. Woohoo! Let's get on with the show. Hey guys, so here we are. I picked this up the other day, the Value Village, for $2.99. $2.99, and I've measured it out. There's 35 feet. There's Ethernet cable, which is Cat 5E, and just looking on here, there's eight wires. Eight wires, unbelievable. And I've just done some simple math here. If you look at this chart that I'm gonna put above the screen right now, the optimal size for uh, radials is anywhere between, uh, what, seven, six and a half and 14 feet. So we're going to go with whatever we can left over from cutting this antenna for 20 meters. So half of 35 is 17 feet, six inches. So we're going to cut this into 17 feet, six inches sections. And one of those will be used for the radiating element, which will give us uh, 10, possibly 6, but definitely 10, 12, 15, 17, and 20. The other 14 radials, 1,470 inches, which comes out to 8 feet 9 inches. And if you look at this chart, with that amount of radials, it's going to give us 4 times the wavelength of 10 meters, roughly, so almost 40 meters, which is fantastic. And that's a lot of radials on the ground. So it should be a good antenna. And let's get on with the show and build this. And we'll, we'll, uh, we'll get out to a park and, and get it resonant and see if we can make some contacts. Woohoo! So guys, just to demonstrate, I've done two wires here. When you're rolling these up, and I, I suggest you roll them all individually, you wanna go use this pattern here, okay? Because then it doesn't kink. So you go over your pinky and over your thumb as a figure eight. Okay guys, well, we've successfully unwound and untangled all 16 of these wires. So now what we're going to do is hook them all up to each other and then we're gonna put them into the into this guy here, which we used the other day for the, uh, the electrical uh, cord antenna. And this is a terminal block. So we're gonna put them into this side of the terminal block and boom, there's our quick disconnect. So pretty cool, I love it. Hey guys, Simon, here we are, we're down at the park. And guys, I have to correct myself on the price of this. So this, all of this wire was $2.99 and that was for 35 feet. And I'm only using 17 and a half. So it's $1.49.5 plus the $2 is for basically for this terminal block. So here we are guys, this is what we've got. We've got the one radiating uh, element and what I've done at home is I just measured out the quarter wave for 10, 12, 15, 17, 20. And these are eight feet, nine inches, which is the sweet spot of radials. There's 14 of them. We know we've got about four wavelengths at, tw at 10 meters and two at 20 meters, and uh, they should work well. So the main thing is, what I would suggest you do, actually with money to spare, if you do the math on this, $1.49.5, plus $2 is $3.49.5. Get yourself a nice couple of pieces of dowel that are 18 inches, maybe two feet, because you want to be able to fit them in your backpack. Drill a hole about every, every inch, inch and a half or so like that, and then tie the wire onto that, and then you can roll them up. So then you can just unroll them, and then you can even elevate them too. So that's pretty cool. But for this purpose, for, for today, all we're going to do is lay them on the ground, we're going to put the uh, feed point just above this table and we want to see where the SWR is on all the bands. So here we go. So here we go, we're, we've set up the coax. I've just got it going around the pole there, into the terminal block. And then there are the eight feet, nine radials, all 14 of them. And going up there is the is the 20 meter wire coming down vertically and look at that Woo! all right let's get on the air and see what uh, the swr looks like for 20 meters 
All right, guys. Well, I just got the antenna set up. I haven't changed it at all. We're on 20 meters. Let's go to 14.250. And we're on AM. Let's see where the SWR is. Oh my gosh. Hang on. That's 1.2 to 1. 1.2 to 1! I'm not going to even change that. Oh my gosh, guys. All right, so this thing is amazing. It works. All right, so let's go over to 17 and uh, and get on that and see what where, where the SWR is without... Guys, this antenna is the greatest. It's, it's the greatest for $1.49.5 plus your... Flash your terminal block. Yeah, you can't beat it. All right, let's get to 17. All right, let's see where the SWR is now. Okay, 1.6. 1.6, 1 1.7. I'm going to leave that as is and get on to 15. All right, let's flick over to 15. Sorry about the glare, guys. Yes! All right, guys, so there's fine tuning to be done, but we are basically at a quarter wavelength for 12 meters that works for 15. And with fine tuning, I'm pretty sure you can get this one to one. All right, guys, so now let's get down to 12 meters. Woohoo! All right, guys, the rain is. Look at the. Let's see what the SWR is on 12 meters. Woohoo! 1.2 to 1. This antenna is a killer. All right, I'm going to quickly mark that in the rain. I've got the radio covered. Sorry, ICOM. You're awesome. I've got it under my backpack, but hopefully my backpack doesn't get wet. And I want to quickly get this done for, for 10 meters so then we can go home. So guys, they say you can get phones wet. We will soon find out. All right, guys, I couldn't resist. I've shortened it a little more. And check out this SWR. Look at that, one to one. One to one at on 28506. What a beauty. You can be sitting here at the park bench. There's your little antenna for 10 meters. There are your radials. No dogs, uh, no kids are going to trip over it, and it's all good. All of the measurements are down below. Thank you so much for watching. Hit like and subscribe. Five bucks, five bands, no tuna, no fuss. Woohoo! See you on the airwaves.